you know, the Bears have played the Lions in the last three matchups very tough. Uh, last mm-hmm. year we had two very close games, and even this last game was a very close game. If we didn't collapse at the end of the game, uh, we could have pulled off a win against the division leader. And so with this upcoming matchup against the Lions, what uh, what is your prediction? There's a little chance, but it's not super likely that the Bears win. It's the second meeting this season, and so they both have film on each other. I just just knowing our coaching, I think Detroit's going to adjust you know, to everything that they see on the game film from the first game. They're going to adjust better than the Bears adjust. Um, but I'm open to being pleasantly surprised. The thing is, I do give a lot of slack to the coaching staff and the players because it's a lot of these coaches' first stints in their respective position, too. It's not just the players that needed to learn how to win. It's these coaches, too. And Getsy, he I feel like he might be a little deficient in the play calling and overall game plan. And so, you know, I'm seeing if these coaches grow, if they learn from their mistakes as much as the players. So I'm, I'm interested in the game. Yeah, I agree with you. I think, you know, there's it's any given Sunday, so there's always a chance for us to win. Even last matchup against the Lions, you know, uh, that chance favored us. But it, it was more than likely that we were going to lose that game last time. And, uh, man, it was a close one, and we still lost. We probably should have won. But um, more likely than not, they are just a better team. They match up against us really well, and they have a – you know, they check the advantage box in multiple categories, um, especially coaching too. So I don't have much confidence in them coming away with a win. However, like you said, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised necessarily if they did. You know, last week they kind of got right again, but um, I, I don't trust Goff at all. I could see him having another sloppy game. And, uh, you know, that team's really good because they find a way to bail each other out. You know, good teams find ways to win and – and the Lions have found multiple ways to win. So Frank Ragnow and Ali McNeil, they're both injuries from the game uh, on Sunday. And those are two stalwarts on their team on the offensive and defensive sides of the ball, respectively. So I'm very interested uh, to see if the Lions get to come at, come with them. Um, I, I actually wouldn't call Ali McNeil a stalwart because that, you know, uh, talks about that pertains to experience and everything. But he's been a very good player for the Lions this season. So... I think the way they're going to beat us is going to be the obvious way. Uh, I think we had trouble stopping Amon Ross St. Brown. As long as he's producing, then, he, you know, it's going to be hard to stop stop that team in general. Now, I know last time we were able to kind of shut uh, Hutchinson down for most of the game. He came through in the last 30 seconds or so and really solidified their victory for them. However, for most of the game, we kept him in check. But listen, I, I don't buy into this being a long-term thing. I'm actually more afraid of the Packers being good long-term. More than <laughs> yeah, I know, right? right? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Especially with them being such a young team. But they're constantly showing that they're taking steps forward, whereas the Lions, I think, are a flash in the pan, and I think they got a window this year. They might have a window next year. But I, I'm not super bought into – the fact that it's going to last longer than that. 